out. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you go. I, we didn't even, like, sketch this one out. I'm gonna do the words like I normally do. Hello! Hello. I didn't see you there. <laughs> when did they all get here? I don't know, I guess, uh... Have they been here the whole time? Have they... Have... They've been here the whole time? Does that mean dun, 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 dun. We said about... Oh, all the other stuff that we said right before the episode started? Oh, man. Oh, no. Cancel us. <laughs> we were canceled. Hashtag cancel us already. <laughs> oh, man. Who is in this? Um, one person's watching. That might be one of us. So, uh... <laughs> oh, no. Sleepy Sheep is commenting. Wow, it's Ian. Holy crud. Sleepy Sheepo? Uh, that's not Captain Sheepy. Uh, that's a, another person with a sheep name. Somebody who knows you, it seems. I guess so. Yeah, it's me. Hi. How's it going? Um, Sleepy Sheepo. Who could that be? Screwdriver! Hey! How's it going? Oh man, Screwdriver is such a great dude. I love you so much. You're, you're, you're a great guy. Honestly, I, I mean that... I remember Screwdriver. You've just always been a really cool dude and super nice. But, uh, how's it going, man? <laughs> Welcome to Draw Bomb. This is a show where we, uh, Brandon and I just draw bullshit. Uh, what episode are we on, by the way? 17. Holy crap, 17 episodes this run. And we just draw shit and talk about shit and, uh, say the word shit a whole lot. And, uh... That's that's what we do. Living up to it. Living up to everyone's expectations right. of us. God knows, I'm I'm the successful man I always dreamt I would be. Yep, that is for sure. Yeah, what seventeen. Do you do when you've reached this level of success. God, you just throw your money away is what you do. You just oh, find a big okay. fire pit I'm and throw it. your money in it. I mean. Uh, oh. We just got a new follower. Whoa! Sleepy Sheepo is joining. Sleepy Sheepo, screwdriver clock. Thank you so much for joining the cult. We uh, we demand our contract signed in blood, um, which you got a lot of it. So don't yeah, don't be stingy. Be a lot of blood, but I mean, yeah. I, I want a lot of blood. I mean, I want to know. They're, I want to know they're committed. You know. I know how much blood they got. You know? yeah, I want to. Yeah. Hold back. Yeah, don't be don't be like sitting on the blood. You know, like Jesus. Blood stains. Um, uh, blood. Ooh, you can use that. That's that counts. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's uh, you know, it's it's it, it it's valid blood. Period. Blood is valid blood. Blood is blood. You know, that's that's what my father used to say, and I just I agree. You know? He was talking about the first person shooter from the '90s, right? He was like, "Boy, that is blood." Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Uh, speaking of, speaking of first person shooters, uh, Screwdriver Clock, I believe, uh, gif gifted me Dear Esther, like, way back when it first oh, came nice. out. That's yeah, my, was... that's a great first person shooter. That's a great first person shooter, <laughs> dude. I thought the combat mechanics in it were really rock solid, you yeah. know, like. It's kind of a little gory for my taste. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of, uh, all the violence. It was kind of like a, that T rating really stretched a long way. <laughs> I believe you did, because uh, I remember you gifted it to me, and you were just like, I don't know, I had some cash lying around, and I was curious how this game is. Let me know how. And I was like, all right. <laughs> so I, uh, I want to know how a game is. I buy it for myself. But it was <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was very nice of you to do that. Um, but uh, you've always also just made a lot of really cool animations. Uh, Scrambled Eggs, I think, is one is a classic. Um, I don't know if you've seen Scrambled Eggs, Brandon. I don't remember that one, no. I might have seen it. Is it Scrambled Eggs? I forget what the name of it is, but it's the one... So, like, it's the one where it's, like, the sound of some dude's egg scramble. That's right. And uh, it's the dude... Um, and he, he has, like, a sound clip of somebody screaming. And I, I never want to see what the original video could possibly be because the sound's absolutely horrific, the way the guy is screaming. But it's just him cooking breakfast while he's just screaming like that and uh <laughs> this is very funny it's just classic clock crew humor it's yeah. the shit that I, I love i consider it a classic 
And now coming to you live with the Clock Guru Classic. Here we are with Screwdriver Clock, Egg Scramble. I was... Ah! <laughs> I was very right. unfamously Action Clock. That's very true, you were. You were Action Clock and I was Top Cat Yo Clock. I think I had the worst clock name of all of us. <laughs> no, kept it original. God bless you for that. Yeah, you know, I was like, I'm just gonna be my OC, and that's my fucking clock character, and he is a cat also. Um, and it wasn't even my OC, my brother actually came up with the design, I just fucking stole it. Well, Tom uh, Cat is, a uh, like an old Hanna-Barbera. Yeah, it was partially based on that, but the Yo made it its own thing. That's right. <laughs> it's yours. Well, that's right. can just stop trying to shut you down. I'm um, bulletproof. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, fun, fun shit. Clock crew days. We should really take a deep dive sometime into just, like, you know, well, I, I, I could at least talk about for some period of time about good old days of the clock crew. Yeah. Uh, there's some interesting shit that went on in that internet <laughs> forum. Was. Like, the fact that we had fucking super villains who were like, I will destroy the clock crew! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, it was like a weirdly... <laughs> like, a bunch of people were, like, weirdly dedicated to, like, destroying the clock crew. And it was always like, y'all are delusional. Like, what is happening here? <laughs> but it made for great content to... Or just great... It was great source material to... Like wrestling. Like, this is, like, this fake. Yeah. <laughs> These, like, These. feuds... Yeah, wrestling beefs, rap beefs, boxing beefs. Beefs, uh, it would, beefs, uh, make the world go round. True. YouTube beefs. Um, list some more beefs, would you? Uh, where's the beefs? Um, shit. Uh, Kobe beefs. Um, God. So I gotta keep listing beefs, cause, uh. No, that's funny. Okay, cool. I think that's all of them like that. <laughs> and that's about all the beefs I can think of. Or whatever the quote is from Forrest Gump. I don't remember that. He just like names all the shrimps. Oh, yes. I do remember that. And then he, uh, that's it. And that's all I can think of. And that's the joke. So Ian. What's up? This drawing is, <laughs> is uh... <laughs> close to home for you because you're related to a dentist i am related vaguely to a dentist very vaguely it's distant yeah he's my dad yeah. so <laughs> um i actually just visited my family this this weekend it was very nice oh yeah did do that. we uh watched uh, i watched yeah. some more letter candy with my dad That's we just got much. a new follower as well please hey! The filth. I, know who, I know who plead the filth is that's tyler kearns and he is the guy who has been running the dungeon uh dungeons oh, and dragons awesome. campaigns i've been talking about cool. on the show. yeah so thank you so much for joining in thank you for following uh it's good to have you on the show um friend of the show we're fans of tyler kearns and he's a fan of us and we actually talk about some collaborations with him uh, i don't want to give anything away because i don't know you know if we have to sign any NDAs or anything like that, oh. but uh, you know, it's uh, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go that far. I mean, it can if he wants to. Like, I would, you know, it's whatever. But yeah, we're we're planning on doing some projects together. That's cool. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, but he does run our Dungeons and Dragons campaigns. Yeah, that, you were telling uh, me a little bit about that. It sounds fun. It is a lot of fun. I have uh, a few last... who have done that. Well, I guess you're doing two different ones, but I've had some friends who have also got the. Rick and Morty the, book, and they've been enjoying that long. Oh, sick! Yeah, it's uh, it's really great. And I actually, uh, when I was hanging out with the family, I watched the newest season of Rick and Morty with my brother, and uh, so I finally saw the episode where it looks like they got the uh, the notion to put together the you know the D and D book. But uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, the dragon one or what? Yeah, the dragon one. I think because they talk. Yeah, that one was so great was with, uh, with the talking like cat. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about the cat. Uh, I also really like the snake one. That was good. Uh, the snake last one. one. I, I the last one was uh, a. No, so I think I haven't seen the very, very last oh, episode I think it's yet. The best one, honestly, of, this, of these five. Oh. So. 
Nice. I got I to gotta check it out. It's I'm, I'm really enjoying the new season so far, so it's good stuff. They're like, they're like hit, finding the right line of like, you know, how seriously they want to take certain things. And... Yeah, I think they found the right balance of like, and they, they, they call themselves out for it in the show, but like the, the right balance of yeah. like, all right, this episode's going to be like just a weird adventure, and then this one's going to be like... Sad like... Rick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's that's where they can really pull the heartstrings. They're just like sad Rick. He's a genius, but he's sad. Cause everyone thinks they're the sad genius. Not me. Well, Not I know me. I am. Me. <laughs> 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 woo! Um, woo! All right. So, uh, but yeah, uh, we have a lot of folks. Uh, we have a lot of folks in the chat tonight, and by a lot, I mean two, which is, uh, you know, it's actually pretty decent for us, so, um, but yeah, uh, so, screwdriver. This has always been the case, but since we have some people, and I know some of them are artists, I'm going to encourage it a little bit more. If tonight we're drawing anything and you want to draw along, uh, you can send us the things you've made in Twitter or wherever, the Discord, and we'll, we'll post it. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, ooh, we should get a link to the Discord going. In the uh, in the panels we got down here, is that something we can set up? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I can do that. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I will. Yeah, you don't gotta worry about it. But um, yeah. So uh, if you guys want to join in, if you want to work on some stuff, if you want to like, you know, Tyler, I know you do music. Uh, so if you want to, you know, post some links and shit, feel free. Spam the chat. We'll just keep on working and stuff like that. So. Draw bomb! Woo! <laughs> I don't know why I gave my dude the uh, weird ass doctor mirror from like the 50s, I think, but like. I think it's a nice touch. I don't think those I've ever actually. Like, they just don't use those anymore. Like, that's not like What's a thing. The point? Is it supposed to reflect light? Light. Yeah, I think. Uh, so turn your head into a flashlight, basically. Something like that, yeah. But now they have like fucking flashlights oh, on that you can put on a head. Every time I go to the, the dentist I go to, they like legit have they give me like sunglasses to put on because they just shine a giant light in my face. Oh man, I don't. I guess uh, you guys a doctor who's got some sweet sunglasses, then I guess. Yeah, he's so like, he's like oh, this is sick. He's like the red bands, and I'm like, I don't care. It's my teeth. Hey, you want to wear? You want to get your teeth fixed these while wearing these Oakleys? Are very expensive. <laughs> I was like, cool. I'm here for the right reasons. Oh yeah. Oh man, are these like Burger King Wild Wild West sunglasses from like 1995? This is crazy. You rock, dentist man. Wow, I remember wanting those. That's... I got the uh, the pair that will. I wanted the pair that Will Smith wore, but I got the pair that the. Uh, white guy that no one I'm gives a shit about. I'm not convinced they had the Will Smith ones for real. I think mine were, I think they were sold out of those ones too. Like, what I the fuck? Them. I know, I was so pissed. They didn't exist except you keep trying to get more and you keep getting the weird... Yeah, it's like, uh, ones. they just had like a shitload of sunglasses and they are like, what the fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell them Will Smith has a pair. We keep them buying Happy Meals by never giving them Will Smith's Smith. <laughs> It's like how they have the McDonald's Monopoly nowadays. I'm convinced you only like you only need to get two of the fucking blue squares and you get like a million dollars. Uh, I don't believe it. Well, I bought a lot of fucking point. McDonald's. What was that? They probably only print two blue squares. You expect yeah. to be at your local McDonald's? Yeah, exactly. Like what the fuck? It's like yeah, it's it's really based on like where are you? Because like one McDonald's is gonna get those blues. And maybe that's your you're not near it, you're just wasting your fucking money and liver, dude. But, uh, I've also done, like, there's, there's this local grocery store, and, uh, my ex and I were, uh, we would try, we, like, we would go to the grocery store just to get groceries, but we'd also be like, hey, tickets for, like, this weird Monopoly thing they're doing. It's a complete ripoff of the McDonald's Monopoly, but, hey, free, free shit. And, like, we got a lot of groceries, and I didn't feel bad about it because it was just like, okay, like, what the fuck else, like, you gotta buy groceries. But not once did, like, any of the boxes, even the one that was for, like, 20 bucks. <laughs> like, here's free 20 bucks. Like, we never got that shit. Like, we got a lot of groceries. We got a lot of tickets. The cashier lady, she was like, oh, I got a whole bunch earlier. I don't fucking play this. Which should have been the clue, honestly. 
But she just gave us like her fucking tickets. It was like, okay, so I think sweet. You got bamboozled. I got bamboozled, buddy. I don't know. I I I, got, I feel like I've been had. Uh, what a rube Captain, I am. Captain Sheepy says uh, the doctor is going to extract everything, including his tongue. Is your dad done many tongue extractions? No, that sounds like my worst fucking nightmare. Oh, you got a <laughs> rotten tongue. Taking it out. Oh. Don't Lord. worry, we'll place it with the... It's like there's that scene in Game of Thrones where, like, they cut off some shitty musician's tongue, and I'm just like, ugh. That's like... terrible. Yeah. It would be a bummer to lose your tongue. Yeah, 100%. There's certain, like, little... <laughs> there's certain... I was gonna say little body parts that, like, are so useful, but you could just easily lose them and it would ruin your life. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, uh... But, uh, yeah, the tongue is one of them. Tongue is one of them. Basically, anything having to do with the face. Although, I'd be pretty bummed if I lost, like, a, any of my fingers. Yeah, like, I got a couple I, of, I like... I still a... think it's a miracle, like, when somebody's, like, 90 and has 10 fingers. It's like, how did you, <laughs> you do this? Like, it's common. I mean, people don't... I don't feel like it's not made up to make people... I guess they can sew them on and stuff now. But yeah, I'm they like, can sew them on. Like, man, I've had, like, close calls already, and I'm not even... So yeah, I've had know. close calls for sure. I have, you use uh, your hands for everything. Like, <laughs> like the odds yeah. of losing a finger here and there throughout your life. I'm surprised. Like, I, I, I feel like it should be common that like most 90 year old people have like eight fingers. I th I mean that's fair. I see where you're getting at, but I think it does depend a lot in your line of work. Like, you know, that's I'm working right. in a bank. There's not too many. Like, the only chance I have of losing my fingers working in the bank is like. I'm cleaning out the coin machine, and Every I don't. Time I've almost lost a finger. Be careful, I'm an idiot. Not because. Yeah, hundred percent. Not because of but, my job. It's the stupid shit I do. But like chefs at restaurants, like I'm yeah. not. Like I know a lot who have got like parts like nipped off at least. Like they're like, oh, that's not a whole finger. But uh, you know, construction workers, I could see that happening, especially work with like you know, buzz saws and shit like that. Like there's like certain professions where like I could see it. Common. But like, you know, like, hi, I'm a graphic designer, and oh, like, my finger. well, that was my finger in the printer, <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to use a paper cutter on a fucking sign. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I hope to keep all ten of my fingers. No, that's what I'm shooting for as well, but, yeah. who knows? You just got me really paranoid, like, <laughs> for my body parts. You know, like, wear gloves now, for now. Yeah, well, I mean, gloves look pretty cool. All the anime characters wear gloves. Right, they're they gonna be fingerless gloves? Like, cause that will not help. No, definitely not. That, that just exposes them to, they gotta be like a uh, heavy Kevlar, you know? Like, I gotta, like, really gonna strengthen the wrist muscles when I try and grab anything. But, you know, it's, it's what I, I'll deal with. You know, deal with finger loss when it happens. All you gotta do is just throw it in some ice. I've seen movies. Yeah, you the ringer. Bag lice, you just go to the to the finger store and they sell that guy. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's like the central plot of uh, the ringer, with Johnny Knoxville. Did he get his ring finger problem? Is that what it's about? No, it's uh, in the movie. His uh, he has like, there's like a dude who works for the bank that Johnny Knoxville works at or whatever. And then the dude's gonna get fired, so Johnny Knoxville is like, oh shit, dude, like, you can, like, mow my lawn and shit, like, that way you got these guys some money until you find, like, a new job. And then the dude's, like, mowing his lawn, and the lawnmower stops, and then, like, he sticks his hand in the lawnmower, and then all of his fingers get knocked off. So, uh, Johnny Knoxville has to take him to the hospital, and the doctor is like, uh, yeah, this shit's gonna cost a fuck ton of money, my dude. That's um, so, and Johnny Knox. <laughs> but I don't recall the, the beginning. Oh yeah, not a lot of people. I've seen that movie a lot of times, actually. Really? Um, yeah. Not, not, not like any particular reason. I think we just had the DVD rented, and we were like, okay, well, we got this movie, we spent money on it, and we have three days till we don't have it anymore. I guess we're gonna fucking, like, watch this movie a shit ton. A lot of movies, and Hot Rod. <laughs> Hot Rod's great. Hot Rod is great. I also watched that movie a shit ton of times that weekend. It's a, you know, The Ringer's an interesting movie. It's, it's probably definitely problematic now. I think they did hire 
actually yeah, mentally handicapped people for some of the roles. Not all the roles. I, I researched it. Um, uh, especially not Johnny Knoxville. Um, I mean, but as, as much as he tries. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, he's trying to get some form like of... Some, like, movie that flopped recently where it was, like, he's, like, still doing stunts. And that was supposed yeah. to be a job, but, like, he, like, proved himself worse than Jackass in that. Well, probably because he's, like, 50. Yeah. But... He's, like, too old to be doing that shit anymore. Like, he's gotta know. It's like, nobody, nobody wants this anymore. You can stop. Yeah, dude, it's it's okay, man. Like we all got over Jackass. Like we we did it. It's it's my I have the same opinion with Jackass as I do Marvel movies. Like where where they have like the whole like big are ensemble. They, are like, they making the Jackass cinematic universe soon? <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> it's uh, um, they they're gonna get all the characters back. Um, they're gonna recast Ryan Dunn. Um, they're gonna Return just really <laughs> Return in Peace, Ryan Dunn. Um, and others, um, but uh, and others. Yeah, I guess. Well, we we broached the subject now, but. And then, uh, what what does the cinematic universe entail, though? Like, what, <laughs> how would they accomplish that? Um. Well, what they do is, uh, Johnny Knoxville gets punched in by like a boxing glove hidden in a mailbox into a different universe, and. Uh, the universe where Jackass never happened. And then he's like, well, we gotta make it happen, guys. I'm 50, though. <laughs> and then, uh... uh and then no one sees it. <laughs> yeah. Man. I liked Jackass when it was relevant. Yeah, but, but like, my, you know, my you my opinion... The time. My opinion of Jackass is the same with Marvel movies, where, okay, you guys did it. No one ever needs to do this ever again. Right. That's the end. Like, right, it was, like, very lightning in the bottle. It's one of those things, like... It works right now. It does not need to be. We need to keep making more. No, I think if anyone ever tries to like make another sort of jackass, like they will die. Like it's just gonna be like, like yeah, these, these guys died. Where they almost died. Really yeah. Lucky. They were like very lucky that none of them are. Well, that most of them are dead, or at least none of them died in relation to filming jackass. Right, like, right. There's, I mean, Jesus. Yeah. I or like the Wild gonna, Boys. Uh, the Sorry. second movie, the, he launches himself on a rocket, and the rocket blows up, and like he almost. Yeah, they like gets, point to like the spots that like. Like the like metal innards. shot out of the inside of the thing, and. Yeah, so like him. he's like, yeah. If I was like over there, like if I was yeah. like shifted two centimeters to the left, I would have been dead. It's and like, it's just oh, like, this is this the last time you made for the movie, or did you go and film more after, more after that? <laughs> And it's like they're like, yeah, we decided to film more after that, and then we drank horse cum, and it's just like Jesus. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, screw, uh, screwdriver clock says they gotta go. They gotta wake up at four a.m. My God, I am so sorry for you. But thank you for joining in. Yeah, and thanks for popping for the in. Follow. Adios. Really appreciate it. We Have do a good show night. every Monday at eight o'clock. If you ever want to pop in again, yeah, please do. Yeah, if you don't have to wake up at four, that would be. Nice to have you around for the whole show. Um, but you were you were saying something. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know. Either way, jackass. It's it's strange. But, yeah, it's... Uh, it existed. And I feel like they it's... I feel like yeah, they all earned their money they got out of it. Oh my god, it, more than anybody else, I yeah, would say. Seriously, I would be like, hell no. Like, especially, yeah. after, I mean, I don't know. Uh, the fact that I made three movies, like, I've seen... I, th- I think I've only seen Jackass 2, the movie. Like, I don't think I've seen any of the other ones. Okay. Um, but, like, j- most of that movie, I was just like, and then y'all, like, quit forever, right? Like, <laughs> but they made another movie after that, and that just absolutely blows my mind, like... Captain Chibi says, I can't even begin to tell you how much I hate Bam, Bar- Bam Margera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's he's Fair. he's... Yeah, he's he's annoying. And, I don't. Uh, I don't like. Okay, so I watched it when it was like on and relevant, and I don't know. I was I was entertained, but at the same time, I'm just like I I don't look at any of the people in it as like. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, Giant Knoxville seems like a nice guy. Yeah. And, but, like, and he's pretty wild, but you know. I, I, yeah, what you said, like, I'm never, like, it's, not, uh, it's like watching, like, a car accident, like, you, you, 
just can't look away. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. mean I admire the people doing this. No, yeah, exactly. It was, just, it was just, I don't know, it was weird. It was unique at the time. Yeah, yeah. it was wild that they fucking just went like for it. Like you said, it. no one needs to do this anymore. It's no, fine. Never. I'm not even sure I have an interest to watch it anymore. Oh, I was God, no. I, I can't even watch the, the others. There's a... Yeah, like anytime there's like fail videos or anything, I'm just like, ah. Ugh, ugh. I, I get to, like... People getting hurt. I hate that shit. Like in the, like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, they would include like the bail videos where it's just the those skateboarders like hurting themselves very badly, and every time I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, no interest. Some people like are drawn to that stuff, but I don't, I don't, I don't like to see anybody get hurt. No, I don't either. I really it makes just... me uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah, I just feel bad. I'm like, oh no, I hope they're okay. Yeah. I just realized this bomb should be a different color than purple. That's alright. No! That. <laughs> That's true, actually. <laughs> let's, let's definitely color this different color. <laughs> but, uh, like, you remember that, that show, like, Wild Boys, where it was like, yeah. hey, where's, where's Steve O and that other guy, no, Chris? We're gonna fuck with animals. And, like, all, like, the one episode, they were just, like, on it, they were like, we're on a boat! We should go fishing! Um, and I guess we're just gonna fucking put fish hooks through our cheeks. And I was just like, why? Yeah. No! Yeah, and then they do. And then they do! And, and they're like, it's like, horrifying. Ah! It's like sticking a fish hook through themselves. Like, yeah, and like... Why did you do that? Why would you ever? It's what a terrible show to be part of. Like... Oh my god. Imagine the pressure of just being like, well, we need footage, so I guess stick a, stick a fish hook through your cheek. Like, Jesus I Christ. Know? I will not okay. be doing that. Yeah, drink horse cum. Nope. No thanks. No thank you, sir. I'm gonna, I'm, I quit actually. I'm gonna That's go, uh, do a different job. Yeah, I, I would rather work in a bank. I'd rather <laughs> yeah. This. God. That's like, there's like people where you're like, oh man, I wish I had their lives. They're so famous and like rich. And like those guys, I'm just like, I'll pass on that one. That's okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. I'll, I'll, I'll still, I'll deal with poverty. <laughs> yeah, pretty good at it. The, uh, ugh. Yeah. But, um, Bam Margera from Philadelphia. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. He, uh, he features Philadelphia in, like, his early, at least, skateboarding videos. He I think he was like first his dad, though. Does he really? Yeah. Is his dad Don Vito? I don't even know who was fucking... Uh, no. But... I couldn't watch Viva La Bam either because it was just, that like... Was a terrible show. Yeah. It was... I don't know. That was that was some of the worst TV like TV I think was around that time when it was like punked and like Viva La Bam, and it was just like, hey, here's people Trash. like, yeah, this is like we gave five hobos garbage and which one is gonna snort a banana peel first? And it was just like this is like beyond the bottom of the barrel. This yeah. is like you have ripped the barrel up and are digging into the ground now, <laughs> underneath the barrel. It's, like, surprising that it got, I guess, MTV's, I mean, I don't know, it's probably still fucking terrible, but it's, it's better <laughs> than that, honestly, like, it's better than that shit. Sounds like you have good, good taste, Captain <laughs> Sheepy. I watched the first season of Evil of Bam when it first aired, and it cemented my ensuing hatred for all things Bam Margera. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I, I don't know. I, I hate him. I mean, he, he, I feel the one episode in Jackass where they like stick him in a van full of snakes. Yeah. I was like, come on, guys, he sucks, but that's, that's fucking mean. <laughs> like, he's crying. Like, <laughs> yeah. And like, my friends were always like, oh, he's fucking crying. What a pussy. And I was just like, yeah, he's the only guy who's willing to cry on camera. <laughs> like, isn't that what you guys wanted? This like extreme reaction. Like, well, here's this. Yeah, yeah here's a man having him. <laughs> Yeah, he's having an emotional breakdown. Like, there you go. All right. <laughs> that's a that's a drawing. <laughs> yeah. Which layer are you coloring on? Uh, BC one. Oh, okay. I, I don't even know why my lines are red. I, I stopped. I didn't even realize it for some reason until I was like, oh wait, what the fuck? <laughs> this orange or this purple color is. I color with red a lot, but I usually. Here, try this. Change. Well, it probably won't work because I. 
uh, I color with red a lot, but then I multiply the layer and it kind of adds a nice like it changes to the color of what I painted with. So like, try changing your line art to multiply. Let's see how that looks. Uh, oh, you gotta make me an operator to do that. Oh shoot! I didn't give you oh. rights. I was gonna do that. God damn it! Give me rights. <laughs> You deserve rights. I think it's uh, as a as a high straight time. white man. I don't think I have enough. You haven't, you haven't been given enough. No. <laughs> I have all of them, but I want more. All right, you have rights. That's right. <laughs> all right. Multiply. Multiply. All right, doing that. Whoa, I see what you mean. Yeah, it worked alright. It depends on how much you color under it, but yeah, that's how I usually do it. Like when I work on actual stuff, I color with like a light red. Hmm. That's how I do my line work, and then I go from there. I like it. Looks good. All right, let me Captain save this thing. All right, I'm gonna read uh, some yeah. more comments. Captain Sheepy is going off in the comments about Bam Margera. It's Bam Margera. God damn it! <laughs> Um, Captain Chico says, it was actually because of his silly show and Jackass that gave him such a huge presence in the Tony Hawk Underground games, where he was presented as, like, Tony Hawk's contemporary when the dude was never even a remotely good skater in the first place. Yeah, Especially they didn't always, two. like, play it off as, like, like, he's the, like, second most popular. Yeah, like, well, it's... just, like, makes, he's, like... They would just have him on doing goofy shit. friend's face and, like... Yeah, also, I remember. He owns a skateboard. Yeah, he has a skateboard and he's he's willing to do weird shit. Uh, he's in Tony Hawk now. He's a he's a main character in one of the storylines. <laughs> Fucking Eric Sparrow in Tony Hawk Underground. What a dickhead! I forgot about those games. Underground was was they were trying to capitalize on the whole like success of Viva Bam and Jackass. Yeah. So the game got real weird. Especially the the second one. Yeah. Um, like the first Great one was. The game and, shit. and like the second one, I guess I haven't played it, but from my understanding, it's entirely about like, hey, you're in a you're at a playground and you're gonna fuck it up. Like, you're destroying it. Like they, I think the point of the game is you're supposed to just like destroy this like nuke the city that you're skateboarding in or some shit like that. Um, I don't know. I never played it, but like I look, I read about it. And it's like got this whole destruction system and like there's like. I played them all, but I don't remember them very well. I played... Yeah, I played one through Underground. And that was the last one, actually, was Underground. Although I wanted to play the others, it's just like they started to come out for like the Xbox 360, and I, was, I, didn't, I didn't have one for a while, so... You know, I didn't play it. But the, uh, the story in Underground... I, I played Underground recently, and the story in that one is interesting. You played it recently. I did, very That's recently. Awesome. Yeah, I I played it, I want to say, towards the beginning of last year. I want to say. Maybe like What did you play now? Did you emulate yeah, it? Play, PlayStation 2. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, we have online around. But yeah, we played Tony Hawk Underground. And first of all, I used to play that game on a hard mode and like get all the like the 100% on the game and shit like that. Holy fuck! Like, I must have, like, had been some fucking, like, hyper-ass child back then, because those games, I cannot balance that arrow for the life of me anymore. Like, it's just not in my capabilities to, like, pull a flip trick and then balance the arrow and shit. It's like, half of that game is balancing an arrow. Um, it's, it's tough. And I can't, I'm not good at them anymore. Funny, kid, I feel like kids are better at games because they have more time to practice and shit, right? Games. It's yeah. Thought, anyways. And like, so they also, like, nice their brains are smaller. Their brains and bodies are smaller, so their synapses don't have to travel as far. So, like, <laughs> they like just have theory. a. It's a very <laughs> curmudgeonate theory. And it's <laughs> their brains are dumb and simple, so that yeah, makes them better. They got better reflexes because they don't have as much body to electricity travel through. Like the that. electricity of their brains. I'm gonna pretend like that's... Scientific and accurate. Yeah. 
Uh, it's been working out for me so what so far people are just like oh yeah you're right and i'm just like fuck yeah. i don't know i'm not a doctor <laughs> be smirching children yeah well, fuck those kids no well no no not like that no i mean, <laughs> like gross gross brandon i didn't say it i didn't say it gross <laughs> ew you pervert <laughs> I'm like getting spit on my screen right now. <laughs> I uh, hey, while we're drawing skateboarding dudes, because I'm I'm assuming Wait, you're drawing a skateboarding. You're drawing a skateboarding Are you drawing a skateboarding dude? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta show you this drawing I did in college of a skateboarding dude. Um, let's see if I can find it. Sometimes we'll do that and draw bomb folks. We'll just post up shit. Yeah, for sure. Motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, is this, uh, is this it? No. Oh, that is cool that I have that save still. <laughs> well, you gotta show what that is now. Um, it was a drawing. Oopsies. It was a drawing, and my teacher really liked it, and I so I like I made it for class, and my teacher was like. This is great. We're gonna put it up in like the the oh, showcase, cool. and I was like, "Oh, cool! When do I get it back?" And he was like, "You don't get it back because <laughs> like, he's that gonna works. put because like, they're gonna put it in the showcase like for all the students to see." Like, yeah, like, but what happens when you take it down? Is it there permanently? I I mean, uh, he puts it up there as long as he wants to, I guess. Oh. Um. You know. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's I was cool. I mean, that's cool, but I just assumed that it was something that swapped out to like. I'm gonna put it in the showcase. Oh, when do I get back? You don't. It's like, wait. No, it's like uh, they, they like in, in my school at least they would have like just like the best pieces that the professors like like over time. Like it wouldn't necessarily be from like one year or another. Okay. We have that kind of thing too, but it was usually switched out. Like, yeah, that, that, I mean they would they would switch out the occasional piece. He's, so he's selling students' art on the side. <laughs> well, you know, I made this art for his class, so you know, he. Uh... I lost a lot of art for his school. Me too, like, man. This is that I spent like, shit. hours and hours on, and then they're just like, I don't know what it is. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> There's a number of them that are just gone. It's like, I lost my whole life to this fucking school. Like, at least you're lucky lose. that in five years I'm gonna hate that piece. But I'm yeah, mad like, now. This is my Skater Man picture. I, I drew it on a big ass thing and I couldn't get into the full scanner, so that's why it's all like <laughs> weird. Is, is this skateboard smoking a pipe? Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, Sir Ian McKellen longboard. So it's it's him as. That's great. I, th I just think my favorite aspect is how the parking sign just says "Don't fucking park." I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that. There's a lot of pot going on here. Like there's a lot going on. Piss and there's a baby. <laughs> yeah, he he's, got, a baby? he's got a baby Bjorn. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. What is he shooting at? Or is he just? He's just shooting a gun and he's, he's got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Is the jetpack tiger corn coming after him, or is it his friend? Uh, you know, I leave that up to the viewer to okay. decide. Uh, his his ar arm tattoo, by the way, is a naked lady, but when he bends his arm, the legs like flop back and forth yeah. like a fish. I see that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this piece. What did you make this for? Uh, I made it. I made it in class for fun. Like I think we had just like they were like, hey, you got like 30 minutes left, and like, we got nothing else to do, so do whatever. So I, I think I drew this. That's what happened. Uh, Plead the filth says, hey, I'm eating fried rice, and I'd really like some fried rice visibility in one of these drawings, which I think we can. I think we can definitely make that happen. My uh, my skateboarder dude will be jumping over fried rice. Oh, even better than what I was going to do. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're, I'm assuming both of our skateboarders are now skateboarding in the same environment. Maybe they're so. riding the same skateboard. That would be hilarious! It's like a tandem skateboard. Why would that exist yet? <laughs> right? Like, that's a, that's a, there's a market out there for sure. Are you gonna make a, you're making a pretty bro -y skateboard dude, I gotta say. Aren't they all? Sorry. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you mean to the skateboarders out there? Skateboard community, sound off in the chat. There's some Which love for fried rice in the chat right now. Love for <laughs> fried rice. Everybody's uh, you know, 
there, seeing how similar everybody's bonding over their love for fried rice. Yep. I had fried yep. rice yesterday. What the fuck? Are I'm you serious? serious? Oh my god, I haven't had fried rice in a minute. Oh my god, if you could send us food through the internet. I've seen that happen. Did you see that video the one time? It was like a Twitch streamer. He was in Japan and they had like a vending machine where if you hold your phone up to it with like Apple Pay or something like that, it like pays the machine and then he like held up the barcode. No, it was a QR code. He held up to the Twitch stream and then people sent them drinks by putting their phone and scanning the QR code. So they sent, they technically got sent drinks over the internet through a vending so, machine. Are you guys ready for me to blow your mind? Because you can, you can order food on the internet. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, just, <laughs> just click a few buttons and food will come to your house. It's amazing. Uh, it exists, it's existed for a while. Holy shit. I, I don't know what to say. I feel like we've peaked as humans. We have There's nowhere to go but down. It's all fizzle out and explode. Yeah. And I mean, we, uh, we probably should, honestly. <laughs> yeah. It's looking more and more likely by the day. Probably, probably for the better. <laughs> We're like 100 minutes to midnight, something like that now, right? Yeah, it's two minutes away, I believe. Uh, it got closer, just like a week ago. Yeah, I think it went from like three minutes to two minutes. I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's close, though. It's pretty close. Not since the Cold War. I'm just like, the selfish person is really hoping I can like, at least squeeze my generation in before everything goes to shit. Yeah, I feel ya. Maybe, maybe I'll be on like, my deathbed when the first, like, zombie <laughs> yeah. or, or new kids, you know, whatever. Really hoping we can, we can maintain for just long enough for me to get my film, my living in. Man, I feel like if I had a kid right now, I would be so nervous. I'm yeah, pretty I'd be nervous pretty... for myself, but like, that'd be, it would be really yeah. not be cool. I'd be, I'd be pretty mad at everybody for fucking it up. Way more than I already am. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, you know, uh, we just gotta get tandem skateboards on the market. And right, I think that'll that... save the world, I think. That'll Maybe save something the world. like that, like, uh, like Bill and Ted, like, music saves the world. Skateboards could probably... probably say like a lot of unity. You gotta really trust the person that you're skateboarding with. I'm not sure how to draw this. We're with, thinking. Yeah, we need to get that skateboard in the time, or else. Just thinking. I don't know so why. Start playing this... uh, Sunset Overdrive a little bit. And oh yeah? It's kind of cool, but I also am kind of annoyed by all the characters. Yeah, they're all really weird and annoying. Over enthusiastic. That's a game that's like really fun, but like holy fuck do I hate the writing in it. Yeah. And the, the voice acting and a lot of the shit in that game. I mean, it's, I like the game overall, but not, not for the aspects I felt like the developers were really hoping I would like the game. Right. And uh, you know, Matt and I were talking... Accomplish. Yeah, they like they they nailed the part that like you have to be a good game developer to nail, but they didn't hire the right people for uh, everything like the presentation and shit. And like I, I was, we were talking to Matt, Many Hats Matt, who uh, he's working on that DMD campaign for the Draw Bomb channel. Uh, it's gonna be a, a, a wild ride, but um, he. Uh, he and I were talking before, and we were saying like the game's going for like this neon punk sort of like vibe, but it it's 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 punk only in the sense that the music is all punk music and like kind of like grungy guitar shit. But like everything else about it is just very bubblegum and neon and not it's it it's, it seems it's like the game. Thinks, people who don't know what punk is, and I won't claim to be yeah. a punk like, person myself. I have the knowledge, but like I do see that it feels. Not, like, it's trying, it feels like corporate punk. <laughs> it's like yeah, and it's the the game. I I feel like I feel like the game thinks it's edgy, but it's not. 
it's not very edgy and like that's fine you don't have to be an edgy i'm not really super into the, like edgy but like the game definitely thinks it's trying to do some like edgy shit yeah. and it's just like nah this is all pretty tame i'm not i'm not part i'm not overly whelmed uh but the characters are definitely terrible like the one like fanboy character who's like your fan of man oh he's he's weird i don't like him can't wait for more characters that i'm love. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not good. It's a fun game. I just. Yeah, it, but... it, so. Oh, yeah, for sure. Scar doesn't have to. I'm uh, building my computer when I get my tax refund, so that's pretty exciting because it's time for a new computer. That's right. Time for you to upgrade. Upgrade your gray matter because one day it may matter. Speaking of gray matter, kids don't have money. No, they don't. They don't have as much for the electricity to try. Does the skateboard only bend up on one side? I, I mean, skateboards. I feel like they kind of bend up on both ends. Like it's like a yeah, they do that thing. I made this one bend a little more so that my dude's arm could reach it. I don't know what his what his move is. Really this is their legs are like way. <laughs> he's riding it like. I like it, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to... Confirms they are bent at both sides. It's a double Thank bend. you so much. It's if you were wondering bend. whether it was a single or double bend, it's a double bend, so... It's a double bend, everyone. We've confirmed it on Draw Bomb. Anybody watching the show tonight, bend. it's a double bend. Hashtag skateboards. R. Double bend. <laughs> Take to Twitter with it, with this very open-ended, lots of lots of creativity you can have with this hashtag, skateboards are double bent. Just fucking flood the Twitter with it, get it number one trending topic. With all of your different skateboards. Hashtag are double bend, use the hashtag double bend. That's right, double bend. Um, again, there's so much you can work with with hashtag skateboards are double bend. I mean, it's just a. I, you can really have a lot of creativity with like the different things that apply to that, I think. Right? Uh, probably. We'll have to wait for uh, the results. That's right. What's uh, oh yeah, well, that's right, we're drawing them hopping over the fried rice. Originally I was gonna make it a giant bowl, but this seems funny. <laughs> yeah. We should also... I was thinking about making the background like turn sideways, like they're about to land on a half pipe, like after... Oh, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Like, this is, like, but, but, like the fried rice is on the half pipe. Where else would it be, you know? That's absolutely right. Which way do you want to flip it? Like this is this is the top of the half pipe right here. Oh, okay. Well, let me erase this little hop. Oh no, that's perfect. That's that's. Oh wait, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's not working. This is why we gotta discuss these drawings ahead of time, Brandon. Oh, no, I like the, uh, oh my god. Like the the chaotic nature. Right. Like, why are they jumping over fried rice? Just because someone in the chat. Because they are. Otherwise, I I I have no idea why they're jumping over the fried rice. But you know, well. Well, you know. We're doing you're it. You're supposed to just crash right through the fried rice. That's Come right. On. Yeah, the fried rice that. is an obstacle. No. You know what? The fucking thing about the fried rice. You know what is? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> That's a bit of a mouthful for that hashtag there. <laughs> That's right, yeah. They are. You can do a lot with it. It's a, a ha very, like, <coughs> exploitable hashtag. Me. And then, I don't know if there is one, but we really want you to use the skateboard emoji afterwards. That's right. You better use Last... that. Last episode, we talked about wrestling for like a whole hour. Are you just time to math there? 
No, I'm actually doing like the score tally that like always pops up in. in Bro, right over my rice. I don't know where else. That's where the fucking well, score look. goes. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> race that rice so fast. No, y'all gotta. Wait, I'm gonna. Here's what's gonna happen. Wait, why is it? Fried rice is going to be on the board with them. I love it. Front slide. I'm writing up some fucking skateboard moves. We're always fighting over placement of fried rice. I know, it just it's it's, it's the classic argument we're having in our like our duo has not been broken up by it yet. I know, but we just Probably constantly will be the end of us at one point. Yeah, but I'm gonna be like, yo, look, they find the fried rice treasure in waterlogged now and you're gonna say no god damn it we've been working towards something different and i'll be like what have we been working towards if not the fried rice treasure <laughs> exactly. um what are some more skateboard moves i don't even fucking know <laughs> uh, they, they don't count those in 20 hard but it's kind of like a, i know i feel like you should get at least 20 points for an ollie um maybe no... 18 yeah at least Tail grab, which is, I don't know if you know this, Brandon, but a tail grab. What is it? Just, tell me it's what a tail you, grab is. It's when you grab the tail. Oh, I understand the title though. Makes a lot yep, of sense. And it's, you don't think of it at first, but you, you know. You definitely know. I don't. I never think of it. The amount of times I've thought of it, zero Several times. times. Oh man, I think about it all the time. Also, you know how in uh, Tony Hawk they have, like, special moves? Yes. This is one of those special moves. Grab. This is the only move that involves balancing a bowl of fried rice on the board. It's got that sound effect, they go BAM! With, like, the horn. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Check it out. We got a score tally. From Tony Hawk in this really sealing the deal with this photo. With this, I'm calling this drawing a photo now because that's what it is apparently. Um, you know what's the difference really? Uh, no one can, no one knows. Yeah, the dictionary's out on no it. They don't really. I dare you. I do. I defy you to. Especially this one. It's like so, really so good. Sounds like fucking solid. Bonus fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great pun. Oh man. I'm gonna honestly steal that. Is that okay if I steal that yeah, for the special place? Steal that. Okay. Fried rice love in the chat. Bam Margera hate. Yep. Fried rice, fry, love, Bam Margera, hate, uh, Johnny Knoxville. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> cool guy. Seems like nice dude. Don't know him personally, but seems fine. Yeah. You know what's always an interesting fashion thing is when skateboarders are wearing like backpacks and it's like seems like you would throw up your weight unless you got like a a weight in your backpack that just like locks you to the skateboard. Yeah, maybe they have like a. I imagine I I always thought that that's like where they keep like the camera equipment that they're gonna like. Seems not smart to keep breakable things in your backpack while you're doing. Well, that's at that point the guy, the guy has like the camera, like that guy's on the other skateboard filming at that point, but oh, the other yeah. dude's still got to wear the backpack around because otherwise they're not gonna, gonna lose the backpack. But you know, clearly I've thought a lot. <laughs> about... You did. You put a lot of on this second show. I thought a lot about skateboarding. I mean, especially from uh, a decent amount, especially. To... Uh, I used to watch the Tony Hawk TV show. Oh, okay, so seven. It was pretty, yeah, so seven. 
Um, you know, plus when I was playing the games, the Tony Hawk games. Really my only foray into you skateboarding. Used to be able to play them, like, really well. Yeah, I used to be really good at those. I'm surprised you didn't start skateboarding. I feel like a lot of, honestly, <laughs> as, as weird as it is, I feel like a lot of the fans, or a lot of people that like got into skateboarding from our generation did so because of video games. I mean, I, I, it was one of those things I considered. My, my buddy Austin got more into it than I did, but it was I, uh, I ended up, you know, before I got, like, it was one of those things where I was just like, yeah, it's cool, but I can't even figure out how to fucking ollie, so I give up. And, like, I, I did know how to ride a skateboard. I did have a skateboard, um, but I wasn't able to do any fucking tricks on that. I mean, I wanted a skateboard, and I thought, like, I was learning yeah, I just kind of really Even if I knew how to do it now, I wouldn't because my health care is not good enough. Yeah. So I, I do, yeah. I skateboard around, but, uh, but at the time, um, I thought it was awesome because of the video games. That's what kind of my core, right? Yeah, same. I, uh, my, instead, the the video game that I ended up translating over into a real skill was Guitar Hero. Like, when I got Guitar Hero, I was like, I should probably take some guitar classes, so. Uh, that's for me, it was, uh, Draw pictures game. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Uh, like uh, Mario Paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mario Paint is what. That's how I got into art and music. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out, uh, as a professional, you can't really use dog parts. Like, no, like you can't. <laughs> Except for if you're in that Dr. Demento's Christmas album. They do have that one song where the dogs bark jingle bells. Is that, is that what that's about? I mean, that's, that, that track is definitely on a Dr. Demento's Christmas album. Yeah. I, I, there was a Christmas, it was two years ago, but me and, me and my girlfriend were going to her family's for Christmas, and it's about a half hour away, and I literally played dog barking Christmas jingle bells for like 20 minutes. Oh my god, <laughs> are you mad? <laughs> You're like when I was fucking playing uh, Africa by Toto, but done with Donkey Kong. Yeah, it was, it was one of those things that like got more and then less funny as it went <laughs> just like randomly. We didn't know if the next round was going to be great or Maybe. terrible. Yeah, it was and always pretty fun. a lot of anger come. and then and a lot of the laughter again and then I turn the shit off and then it's funny again. Yeah. A lot of my jokes tend to veer back and forth between between uh, that. That tends to be my sweet spot. Usually in the terrible, like, please turn this off section. But hey, 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 you know, I have my I'm moments. Yeah, I'm pretty good at riding, riding that line. Uh, let's see, we have some people signing off in the chat again. Captain Cheapy says, Thrasher Magazine on Twitter recently tweeted the, these photos of this woman in 2006 skateboarding while pregnant. Seems like a good I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to tell her what she should do, but this seems bad. You were talking about, you know, skateboarding with breakable things in tow, and that yeah, is... Yeah, that's the most breakable thing in human life. Exactly. <laughs> the beautiful egg-shaped heads of babies that can crack open like Crush eggs. Like a, like a crushable egg. thing. Crushable egg. <laughs> yeah, that's and, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I wouldn't but wanna. Hopefully she pulled it off. After, I feel like the pressure would go up after you had an article done about yourself. A hundred percent. Now I really can't get in an accident. Yeah. I've exposed myself. Like, do you lean in at that point, or do you... Like, yeah. well, maybe you like, I don't know, I feel like, alright, time to stop skating because everybody knows I'm doing it. Yeah, that's, that's like when that people like found out I was like riding my bike around drunk sometimes after like parties and shit, like they were like, oh my god, don't, and I was like, it's fine, and then, you know, like every time there'd be pressure, be like, I'll drive you, and I was like, this sucks, I'm just gonna take the subway. <laughs> yeah, better play it safe. I mean, yeah, but also, like, the streets are fucking empty, and, like, also, I'm not, like, hammered, I'm just, like, a little drunk, and then I get home, and I get, I'm fine, I haven't died yet, and if I do die, only I'm gonna get hurt in that accident, so, it all washes out. What if you hit your bike into a car so hard that the car blows up? Dude, that would be my dream. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> like, that was an obituary, am I right? Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> Somehow got his bike going 100, 150 miles an hour. That drunk bastard was more flammable than a goddamn <laughs> can of gasoline. His blood. <laughs> yeah. Up, like, god, that would be. That would be a legend. 
except for other people who are playing it would also die because you did mention other people dying in that right, scenario. Yeah. So that, that that makes it less, but still pretty cool. I mean, that's cool. Small price to pay. Small price to pay for a fucking sweet obituary. I mean, honestly, you could have as cool as an obituary as you want. You don't actually have to do those things, right? That's true. You just pay like a dollar per word and write anything oh. you want. That's very true. I guess you could really just Ian you Newton can lie. Lived most of his life wrestling sharks in the Pacific. That's how I should <laughs> do my obituary. That'd be awesome. Just like rate your like, just like make up a bunch of shit about yourself. Yeah. I so mean, I mean to, like, holy shit, that guy sounds awesome. I mean, technically, I have fought a lot of sharks in the Pacific. <laughs> if we're talking about raft, is so raft, I mean, does raft take place in the Pacific? I think the whole uh, world is the Pacific at that point. It's, yeah, it's pretty unspecific, the whole ocean that the you're on, because ocean the ocean the world. gets to be the ocean. Yeah, it's the it's the non-specific rib ocean. We can play that again, though. We were just we about to, like... Beat it. Beat it. <laughs> we're very close. We have a lot of games we need to finish, though, like Borderlands 3 and... Yeah, and I was just thinking about that. I'd love to go back to that. Yeah, me too. Austin's already deleted it from his computer. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm whatever. still gonna beat it. I, mean, I, I had fun. Yeah. I, was, I, I know he wasn't a big fan, but I, I enjoyed it. I just. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't quit because we got bored. We, oh, we kind of did. I mean, we also the other games. I didn't came get bored or land. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> okay. No, I'll, I'll play it. Eventually. Yeah. Uh, Tyler. Plead the filth in the chat says that he got way too serious about skateboarding in his teen years. Which, what is too um, serious? Yeah, like how? Like, are you saying like you got so serious into it you started to be like a skateboarder? Like, yeah, like, he's like, like, like I am like, a skateboarder, and then he would like fucking hard. Uh, uh, so good. Like rollerblades and like gloves that had wheels on them. <laughs> 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 he was always like skateboarding on all fours. I am like, a skateboard. Like what the fuck? Uh, like like those weird like wheel suits that they would like wear. Uh, like wasn't there a sport where people did that? Trying to be supportive, they're like, son, you can't be a skateboard. He's like, but I am. And he's like, you said I could be anything I wanted. I <laughs> wanted to be a skateboard. Yeah, you rolled for it. Yeah. <laughs> Got some. Those heelys were a mistake, Margaret. Why don't they have adult heelys? I would wear those. I would wear the shit out of those. I mean, I assume even because of the respect shame? issue. Yeah, shame and respect, like, you know. Well, I have none, so. Oh, there you go. It's a missed market. I know, right? Like, well, dude, that's your in. You could totally Make just... shoes that look normal enough, and then I will wear them, and then occasionally I'm gonna just skate around. Yeah, perfect. I mean, that's marketing gold. I can live my normal life, but I can also um, do a, bon a boneless fried rice. When yeah, exactly. Skateboard. That's what they should have the marketing be like those Geico and like Red Bull vans that I see driving around, where it's just like, yeah, we'll we'll pay you to ride our Heelys around in real life, and then people will be like, dude, what are these? And they'll be like, Heelys, bro, check it out. Go on the nice one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> do the boneless fried rice, my bro. Sick. 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 Can you, dude. dude, can you bust some sick gnar tricks on this? And you'd be like, yeah, dude. Yeah, check this out. Now I hit my head on like this and I'm going die. Yeah. Well, <laughs> dude, that's sick. I need to get uh, myself a pair. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal his. Yeah. We didn't even know he died, bro. Like, he just fucking hit his head. <laughs> he definitely didn't have weird I'm shoes. Like, 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 you pull some gnarly shit on that? I'm like, you tell me. And then I like hit a jump and just bash my head on the mountain and die. And they're like, wow, dude. Dude, bro, that's sick. <laughs> so gnarly, bro. Sick. Sick. Just like, dude. Sick. <laughs> I like your guy's hair. Thank you. Geometric. It is very geometric. Uh, he's uh, he's kind of got like almost like a kid in play going on. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he 
He had the experience high tide! Oh. Have you ever been into any kind of sports? Myself, personally? Yeah. Um, I have a history of sports. Um, so I played a lot of intramural soccer as a kid. I mean, not necessarily by choice all the time, but I, I did enjoy it when it was going well. My father glued um, a soccer ball to my foot. <laughs> yeah, he, he kept a string attached to a soccer ball and was like, if you ever fucking stop kicking the soccer ball when you I'll walk around. You. That's right. He was very. He was actually my coach for a couple of years. He ended up. My parents ended up being coaches of a lot of my games. Uh, I don't you know what that's. Like. No, <laughs> I don't think so. I think people just really trusted them to be able to coach the shit because like someone had to coach it, and my parents were like, "I mean, our kids are. We're already there. Like we're already going to the games." So. Right. No, I get, I get that. It makes it a little more fun, probably, if you have the confidence to do it. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I, I can't complain about their coaching. They, they definitely didn't, like, play favorites. Like, I did not get a lot of playtime <laughs> on the basketball team. Yeah. They probably were worried about playing favorites, so you got benched even more. I think that maybe, I think they did definitely do a little bit of that. I mean, I'm not I mad. We don't want to get blamed for playing in two months that don't play our children at all. Like, if they didn't play me, but, like, I had a Game Boy, like, I'd have been chill. Like, I would have been like, fuck yeah, I'll catch Pokemon, it's all good. Play David. But he needs... Richard, we're here for our boy. No, they'll blame us. Can't you see he sucks at three pointers? He's terrible. There's not. Are there three pointers in soccer? I mean, I'm also talking about when I was in the oh, he wild basketball. He basketball too. When I was in the basketball team, and I was, I was like pretty fucking terrible. Like a kid in basketball that would like run the wrong way on the court. And get I remember the goal of the season like on the wrong side. Oh yeah, that's a bummer. That's <laughs> he was a, like, no, a... and I'm like. I'm finally doing it. Why aren't they stopping me? I'm great. <laughs> I'm great. I'm so good that they don't even want to try. They'll never catch me. <laughs> I'll never join your bright man. <laughs> Alright. I'm not, not a sportsman. I, uh, I did some karate for about five years. I got my blue belt. Um, but then, like, I quit karate when I got, like, my perp. What was that? Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I got, like, my purple belt, which is, a go at least in that the form of karate I did, it was white, yellow, um, orange, blue, and then purple, and then it would be three degrees of red, and then seven, de well, five degrees of black in the junior, but, like, if you were an adult, it would be seven degrees of black and five degrees of red, I believe. So I think, like, yeah, the black is black, it was black with, like, seven stripes. Um, I was curious, like, I was, that was the thing I was about to ask that I started to interrupt you about, was from whatever the first color is to the last color, how many levels are there? Oh, uh, God. It, oh, it, the thing is, like, it depends on the form of karate you do. Not all of them have the same hierarchy, karate. so... Um, karate. So, um... Or karate. <laughs> um, but, uh... I don't even know how you're supposed to properly say it. My, uh, my karate master was also Austin's mom. So, uh, Austin, friend of the show, guest of the show, his mom taught the self-defense classes. It was a very small town, so everyone kind of was doing all the Austin's shit. Austin's mom could beat my ass. A hundred percent. She, you don't want to fuck with Austin's mom. Uh, well, she I would never do that anyways. But she also was in a bluegrass cool. band. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a yeah. great combination. Isn't it though? <laughs> it's an interesting combination for sure. But no, she could whoop your ass. Um, I don't doubt it for a second. I think even a lot of people, women and people that aren't karate experts could also whip my ass. That's fair. I, I agree. I see a lot of women who I'm just like, I don't think about it. It's not like the first thought that enters my head. Or if for some, I'm always just like, no, she could probably absolutely destroy me. Like, just, I would cry. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people have to make me cry. Fortunately, I'm just a great, nice guy. No one wants to make me cry. Yeah, no one's no one's tried to fight me so far, so it's, it's worked out pretty well. I've had a few people try to fight me, but it's been pretty, pretty few and far between. That's good. Are they trying to fight you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I knocked off or something stupid. I don't remember. None of it's been. There's no Sounds like you're hiding something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's change this up. No. Uh, I definitely uh, didn't kill them. <laughs> I tend to, a lot of, I, I, I learned this early on, I haven't had this problem in years, but when I was a kid, or what I'll call a kid, when I was like, you know, early 20s or younger, me and my whole friend group, our whole like, thing that made us laugh our asses off the most was just like, being, like, just ripping on each other and being shitty to each other. And it took oh, yeah. me a few years of going out with 
into the real world to realize that like people don't get the joke if you do that to strangers. Yeah, that's that is a. It's been once or twice where I make like a, a joke where it just like rips on somebody, and then, obviously it's completely like me trying to be funny instead yeah. of me actually like hating on this person. But they get offended, and I've had a few people that have been pissed on, and I learned pretty quickly that make sure you only make jokes to people who know you're joking. Yeah, I think that's a fair lesson. I think, yeah. I, I think I also went through that phase, like, or at least I, I think, I think early twenties is a time where you learn how not to be a shitty not person. A human. And yeah, you, it's really about learning how, how to be like out in the, in the wild, how to be not a piece of shit. Um, so I feel I feel like that's a lesson that I did manage to do pretty well with, but. Um, it's a, it, it definitely, I, I look back at like a lot of my behavior of, well, God, anything like past, like yesterday, even I look back <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, what the fuck? Thing, thing if, yeah. if, if who you were makes you cringe, that means you're getting better. That's my yeah. opinion on it too. That's how I, that's, that's what helps me kind of get through those cringe moments is being like, okay, well, at least I know that that's not a good thing right. to do. And I if can you're, if you're, you know your age now and you're still looking at yourself when you're like 18 and being like boy those are the good old days then, yeah. then you really got issues but uh yeah yeah oh boy i remember that time we beat the shit out of that dude <laughs> that was best funny. day of my life and it's like uh grandpa what the fuck <laughs> i you, oh, you need therapy grandpa wait did you did you commit like a hate crime grandpa that sounds like you and your friends no, it won't no hate crime. Like it we just was. Hated the guy. That's all. We just. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hear it now. <laughs> oh no. I, I, oh dear. Well, I got some phone calls to make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, it's surprising like how many people are pretty like. They look at like the time that I think I was the dumbest, and they look at that like that was when. They like peaked. it was. Yeah, that's. I think that's a. There's a vital difference between certain people who uh you know strive to be better people and for people who are just like i'm great ah, nothing, nothing's wrong with me I'm good to go. everything i've ever done was for the right reasons I yep love i am not in the wrong frequently or at all honestly <laughs> but uh we got more people in the chat saying stuff uh please the filth says uh, his being serious about skateboarding um, was he edited a whole video of himself skateboarding, burned it on a DVD in an attempt to get a local shop to sponsor him, which I honestly, I appreciate the entrepreneurship of, of that entrepreneurial nature of all that, of all that effort. Entrepreneurial. <laughs> that's my, that's my, uh, what's, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, who's the guy, who's the guy who plays Thanos? Uh, um, Josh Brolin. This is my Josh Brolin from uh, True Grit impression, <laughs> or uh, the dude from Men in Black. Yeah, he's the he's like the guy that Annie's trying to kill, or whatever her name is. I think it's Annie. Uh, it's been so long since I've seen that. I should see it again. You talking I should about too. I... Obviously, you're talking about the remake. Josh yeah, Brolin the Coen Brothers one. one. First. But uh, I liked a lot. I should watch it again. I should t There's a lot of movies that I watched, like that came out when I was like in high school that I watched, and I was I'm like I should watch that again, like as an adult, because I understand so much more about like yeah. I still how have, I have stories were on Blu-ray from back in the days when I bought movies. Nice, so that's I cool. Like, it's a good movie to have on DVD. I don't either. I got them all in, in Netflix. And I stream them already. Yeah, I just stream them. Yeah, you don't do the other thing that you're about to say. <laughs> what other thing? I don't even know what you're talking about. I we're gonna keep that on the Legally. DL, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but um, Tyler says that uh, it didn't work, and he realized he was probably better at video editing than he was at skateboarding. Which, um, I mean, that's a that's a good realization to come to. I think is uh, you learn another. I know that I'm better at video editing than skateboarding. I'm not great at yeah. either, but yeah, me but too. If I had to pick one, it would definitely be. I would definitely put my skills to the test to video edit before I would be like, yeah, let me bust that sick grind right there, bro. Oh, and then I just oh. hit my head on the cement again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just splash like a watermelon. Yeah, like Gallagher. Yeah. So they call me Gallagher because my fucking head exploded like a watermelon on it. I don't even know how I'm still alive, honestly. Like, <laughs> like the way Gallagher went to my head with that mallet it was crazy. Just 
really beat the shit out of it. Oh, so apparently you can rotate the canvas clockwise, but it causes you, you can only do it like a degree at a time. That's Interesting. Probably, I don't know, a lot of times. <laughs> If I stop drawing, does it go a little bit faster? Because it, it has less to process? No, it's literally like you have to press it every time you want to rotate it. So I'm, I'm going to do that in post. Okay. Everybody watching will have to visualize. Alright, visualize. It's 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 hard. I, I felt like there was a no... Oh yeah, I see the button. I thought there was an easier way to do it. Well, there kind of is. There's like a drop-down menu at the very bottom. It's uh, it says zero degrees. You can flip it whole oh, quarter, yeah, quarter thing. So that's it's not just easy. not perfect, but it's it works. You know, it, it's it's something. This one will get the idea of what it looks like. But uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see that now. Pretty zoomed out. Pretty zoomed. Pretty zoomed, bro. Pretty zoomed, bro. Oh, there you go. Alright. I'm almost finished coloring my character. Uh, just gotta figure out a good t shirt color. I try to give him an, a bit of a different pants color because I feel like. You ever like. White's a pretty like, good shirt color. White is a pretty good shirt color. I guess that's not that's not a bad idea. Character. Especially if he has a backpack too. Yeah, the backpack can be like a, a darker. I just do some shadows. My guy doesn't have a shirt. That's true. Your guy does not have a shirt. He's real. He's re you know that there there was that vibe going on with skateboarding. Was it was just like eh, wearing a shirt. But also, it always bothered me whenever. The town. That's right. He was a, he's a lordy goat town. <laughs> we still need to make that shirt. <laughs> just the four goats I on the. the I mean, missed the boat on that one. Relevance. Oh well. But um. Oh well. But uh. It always bothers me when I see the skateboarders like not wearing helmets. Like it's definitely not the fashion to not wear a helmet, and clearly, a lot of them are doing fine because they're not like head injured or anything like that. But I, it's always been like well, you don't see the ones out there that are head injured. That's true. I guess they didn't really make it too far. But it's just like, dude, just fucking wear your helmet. Like I, I ride my bike with my helmet all the time. I'll never not ride my bike if I don't. If I'm not wearing my bike, like if I'm not wearing my helmet while I'm riding my bike, I can like feel the unsafeness and I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off my bike now. I am going to, going to, uh... I, it amazes me when I see people without helmets on motorcycles. On, on motorcycles, you said? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that, I that is... I all the time, I don't know if it's what your state's laws are, but here it's legal as oh, of like a year or five ago. And so they want like a crotch rocket flying like... 90 miles an hour down the highway without a helmet. It's like, oh my god. Uh, you have you to wear protective headgear in, in Pennsylvania. Yeah. You have to wear protective headgear. Okay, well, good for your people. No, they're yeah, gonna do that here. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> why would Why would they ever? Don't, I guess. What the fuck? Leave it up to yeah, I guess. Like hey, you're gonna kill yourself. Uh, you know, that's fine. There you go. At least I feel like if you get in an accident at that speed, you won't feel it. That is true. I, uh, I had a buddy who, uh, his dad was a cop, and he would just, apparently his dad would come home with, like, pictures of, like, road accidents, or I, I don't know, he, like, ha had pictures of road accidents or whatever, and, like, my friend would tell me about them, and I was like, first of all, I do not want to hear about this. This is terrible <laughs> for my anxiety. But he would be like, yeah, like, this dude's, like, apparently riding motorcycle like blippity bloop miles per hour like 50 50 000 miles above the speed limit and uh yeah you can he, he was apparently like just like a puddle and i'm just like oh god I'm like please stop telling me about this shit for the love of god yeah i you liquefy yeah, though apparently and, and like the thing is, well, that, that, that puts me at peace to know that in the end i'll be a liquid yeah um it's interesting to me because you know I think motorcycles look like a lot of fun I feel like it would be a blast but the thing is 90% of the ac accidents I've been in in my life are because somebody bumped into me so like yeah, even if I'm the greatest driver in the world 
and know everything about motorcycles and I'm the best motorcycler who's ever lived. All it takes is somebody smashing into me and I'm done. Yeah, exactly. And so that's the why thing I is, don't think I'll ever get one. That's why I'm conflicted too. Is I I, I I'm the same way. Like I, I like. Well, first of all, if I were driving, I would actually be the guy that causes the accident. I'm a terrible fucking driver. That's why I ride. Why I ride my bike. Um, so actually, I feel like on a motorcycle, I'd be a lot more comfortable than riding in a car. It's not. It wouldn't even be about like this is fun. It would be like, oh, this is the vibe I can I can dig. Like I like riding my bike. I feel very in control of my bike. Um, I do think they look like a blast. I'm sure I would love it. But yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get one because I would think somebody would hit me and I'd die. That way. The, 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 I read a lot of articles about like motorcycling, also because my dad was uh, doing his motorcycle for a little while. When he was younger. It was, he wasn't even younger, he was just kind of like, eh, I saved money on gas and I have a motorcycle that yeah. I ride to work. He, he was like 55. My dad had a bad accident, that's when he stopped. He, my dad had a close call, he was like, yeah, I had a close call and I just decided, nope, no more, I'm done. Seems to be how everybody, everybody either does get in, in that big accident or they get close and then that's when they stop it seems like. Yeah, the articles that I read were all like, yeah, the problem is that nobody takes you seriously as a thing on the road. Like, drivers are just like, turn right into you and you're just like, fuck, I was here, like, asshole, like. Kyle just wrote, I tune in to hear you liquefy, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Enjoy Welcome the drama. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. Oh uh, yeah, you liquefy if you go really, really fast. The human body at high speed liquefies. Liquefies. <laughs> if it collides with something <laughs> solid. Like the ground. <laughs> Mainly at ground. like a high speed. You liquefy. Okay, that's liquefied. Liquefy! I hope I never liquefy unless I am you know, unless it's something I'm hoping for. Yeah, me too. I I I hope Maybe to in remain the future we can liquefy ourselves. Much as we were talking about how we want to, you know, live to our 80s with all of our digits, I wouldn't mind living to my 80s thoroughly unliquefied. <laughs> I can liquefy! <laughs> so Kyle says, ew. Sorry to gross you out, Kyle. Oh. Ew. Whoops. Whoops, you did yeah, ding dong. about that if I knew it would make Kyle uncomfortable. Oh gosh. Well, you know, in in the long run, we hope to make anyone. I always try to take Kyle's sensitive. Comfortable. Oh, yeah. Kyle's a sensitive guy, you know. Yeah. He's uh, we we don't want to make people uncomfortable. We we want we want this to be a, a very welcoming environment. And if you don't want to hear about being liquefied, <laughs> then you know. Watch <laughs> sometimes. We'll... Next episode. Watch next episode where we will not we talk about episodes. <laughs> yeah, about if you get liquefied. Two episodes or not. from now, you're gonna hear some gnarly stuff. Oh my god, all the liquefaction that's gonna ha like, we watched some sci-fi movies where people liquefy, um, I'm just really gonna go off. Woof. Go off. I wasn't sure what color to make that roof. I kept, I feel like it kept being too, too vibrant of a color, but that's pretty good, that's a pretty solid roof color. Yeah, I take it from, uh, personal experience in my life, the roof colors I've seen. Whoa. Oh, sorry. That's okay. You got that side, I got this side. And this drawing is pretty much done. I mean, I feel like we got... Let's call it. I'm call it that door, and then we're out of here. All right. What color do you want to make that door? This one. Whoa! What'd you think of that? Shit! Do you like that? Man. No, I, I think that's all right. Oh. Sorry. My parents, my parents had, like, a... What color a front door. were your doors growing up? Uh, so... Uh, our house that like my parents moved to when I was about eight is like a very tan, like weird stucco sort of. Thing. I don't know what that's going on with this outside exactly. It's like a weird tan. It's not. It's not like a. It's a very earthy color, but they had like a front door that they colored just like a deep purple oh, at some that point. Band. That's a great band, and God, we were some highway stars with the way <laughs> that people fucking would tell me about how they hated that door color. Oh, they'd <laughs> be like, it's "Yeah, sorry." Like... That inspired so much feeling. About... I got a lot of comments about it. People would like walk, walk up to me door. at school, dude. Your door is like a really ugly purple. I'm like, thanks. I chose that color. Like, Thank hey, you. I appreciate buddy, it. You're an ugly purple. <laughs> you're an ugly purple, motherfucker. Jesus. Don't you ever say that to me again. Yeah, dude, I'll fucking make I... you smoke on the water, bitch. 
Yeah, we got puns for days. Kyle says his secret is that he's always uncomfortable. That's my secret, secret Captain. Away. I'm sorry, Kyle. Well, that's yeah. Now it's not a secret anymore. Now oh, all five geez. people watch on the stream now. All right, so I'm gonna check and see what the final tally is for last week's rock oh. paper pencil. I'm so excited to lose again. <laughs> you see, it's it's that attitude. That's why you're not winning. Is because you you know you're expecting to lose. Yeah, I'm okay. expecting. Okay. I'm expecting the worst. Okay. If you expect the worst, you get the best. Okay. okay. Did you see the the clown that your brother drew? I did see the clown that my brother drew. Yeah. He uh. He retweeted yeah. it on the page. I appreciate you. Uh, he's uh. Yeah, that's a he, that's a clown, all right, in a barrel. It is. Uh, I feel like the barrel clown is is a clown that I often forget about. Yeah, me too. I, I feel like I have to use that in my designs in the future. That's the clown I don't want to be if the goal is around. Or maybe I do. So we got six votes. Tapanad came in with 16%. Bobo the Destroyer came in with 83.3. That's at least one vote, and I definitely didn't vote for myself. So, I mean... That's that's good. I vote for myself occasionally, so there's no shame in that. Yeah. Oh, All right. So... Oh, you're cheating. Is that cheating? No, 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 no. <laughs> I just vote for the one I like. <laughs> I like mine. How is a surprise, surprise? Sometimes I like yours more. Oh, you know. Toppenon was robbed. Thank you, Plead the Filth. Although <laughs> I, I also you found your one vote. I did not vote for Toppenon, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's alright. This week you can avenge Toppenon. That's but what we I need have. a theme. We got a lot of people in the chat, so, you know, amongst yourselves, come up with a theme and we will. Yeah. We'll yeah. give y'all like five minutes. So, I uh, have you have you paid attention to any shows lately, Brandon? Have you been um, watching anything? Curb Your Enthusiasm's back. I've been watching that. It's been really good so far. It's two episodes in. It's hey, great. that's pretty cool. I need to. I gotta check that show out myself. I, uh, so, also interesting. I. Uh, I've seen that show. I mean, I've been very into playing The Witcher. Finally, like after like my third time of trying to get hooked. Have you and watched the, the show at all? The show is is. It hasn't hooked me. It's it's fine. I don't know. I'm I'm not really. That's how my friends described it. They said it was. They said it was okay. Yeah, that's how I feel. Morgan's Looks like they're trying to capitalize on. Uh, you know, someone's got to take the throne of fantasy show now that Game of Thrones yeah. is is out uh, off the market. So it's uh, it's interesting. Morgan's watched the whole thing and she's like, it's fine. She's like, I like all the <laughs> scenes where the Witcher's not in it, and I'm like, well, the why that's the whole point of the show, isn't it? Main character. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, he's That's cheesy. Weird. Like everything he so, says. I don't know, but it's, it's, I don't know. It hasn't hooked me. Have you watched The Mandalorian? I have. And here's how I, I described it to somebody. It's my favorite Star Wars thing that's come out in my lifetime, I think, honestly. Not that the bar's that high, even though. Yeah, that's an interesting, uh, interesting. I mean, I can't say I'm super, like, it's not like, like. I like it, it. it's good. There's not a lot of. Like it's not a high bar. Sure. It's the thing. Yeah, yeah, I just saw not... the movie yesterday, as I told you. Not yeah, you one. saw the the last one. I uh, I still have seen, uh, no more than the Force Awake, the very first one. I yeah. I haven't seen anything past the first one. Um, I used to like as a kid, I was a huge Star Wars fan. Like I had the VHSs of the original series, super pumped. Uh, I you know. I, I had all the action figures, I had a shit ton of the video games. I honestly um, wasn't. Uh, I played a lot of the video games, but I, I liked, I was a follower and I liked Star Wars because I knew it was popular. Yeah. So I knew the basic info, but I didn't, I didn't actually watch them, I think, all, all the way through until I was, like, older. I was a Star Wars fan, and then, like, the only one in my school, and I only, it was only until, like, I got to college that I was like, oh, there's, like... People who gives a shit about Star Wars and like turns out fucking. School? That's crazy. Yeah, like motherfuckers weren't really vibing with Star Wars in my school. In they my were school, always like, like every like you were if you didn't watch Star Wars, you weren't cool type thing. Like that was part of the reason that I know what I know about Star Wars, even though I don't really care or did. Yeah. Care. No, it was, it was uh. That's interesting. I'd be like Star Wars, and they'd be like meh. 
for me, so I mean, I mean, maybe I wasn't talking to the right people. Uh, what, makes, uh, what makes people do like what they're not doing? So. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> the new one was whatever, but the the Mandalorian is, I think, I think it's great. Like uh, as far as Star Wars goes, I think it's one of the best things they've made in a while. Interesting. I'll check it out eventually, but I'm definitely not going to get Disney Plus for it. That's no, I only have Disney Plus because it was free with my phone. That's perfect. There you go. That's a, that's the best reason to get Disney Plus is yeah. it was included. <laughs> also, Kyle did. I, I'm not saying no one loves Star Wars, Kyle. Like, I, obviously, we hung it's out like, in it's, high school. It's like, like a multi-billion-dollar thing. Everybody loves Star Wars. Oh, I yeah. See what I'm, you're I'm, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm just saying, like the general, the general pop. The gen pop of yeah, uh, everyone but you. Yeah, dude. Like you don't matter. <laughs> no, but um, no, but like we hung out in high school, so clearly we got along because we had similar interests. So you know, you cared about Star Wars. You you know we played video games together. Like, but like, I don't know. I didn't have any success. Oh, you're. My, oh, thanks, Kyle. Really nice. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Uh huh. Nice well. Fun, I, yeah, that is really nice of my mom. Someone to socialize with. I appreciate it. It, it really got me through the rough patches. Yeah, she, of I mean, it's, it's amazing that she's, like, done that for so long. Like, even now, I get checks every month. It's pretty nice of her. It's like... Oh, the fucking Truman Show is revealing itself <laughs> to me in front of my own eyes. She just loves Holy me, shit. you know? And <laughs> Am I going to touch the time. sky and knock over a cloud? I'm like, what's going on? She pays him differently since he was 18, Cal says. I can't tell if he's insinuating my, if my mom oh, is like a prostitute he or... definitely is insinuating that, yeah. Okay, well, that's if rude. If you can't tell, I... then you're just missing no. the <laughs> very blatant insult. <laughs> it's a very... He's very insulting he's right now. I'm sorry, sorry we talked about liquefaction. Jesus. He's offended okay. him. He hates that we did that. Really yeah, it's pissed. Speaking of helpful people in the chat, Tyler, aka Plead the Filth, has been offering all sorts of helpful topics. Um, he says theme ideas are a new Pokemon, uh, Sexy Jesus, which is very funny that he says Sexy Jesus because he is not privy to our Sexy Jesus jokes we were making last night on Ghost Recon Wildlands. <laughs> um, bad rich people food, which I actually think is a pretty solid idea. Oh, like, I just I, I could come up with something better. Yeah, I feel like that's a. I like that. I, I like that as a topic. Let me, let me these ideas here. Let me take a look. Yeah, and he also says the place he works at included essence of celery as an ingredient on the menu. Essence <laughs> of celery. celery. And he says, "I'm just like that's water." He says. And it blows <laughs> so. celery salt in your face. Did you hear that? That chime. That was the essence of the celery, filling your chakras. Or something. I don't know, that sounds just very. Maybe they're just like ASMR eating celery in your ears. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm at peace now. Do you guys have any peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're listening to celery ASMR. Alright. But I really need some peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> so. Bad rich people food. How about that? Let's do bad rich people food. Okay. Yeah. So it's like we're talking about some like real, some weird like, like exotic. Yeah, like gastro, t pub, fucking ass, experimental cooking, mozzarella balloon shit. Now here's something I want to do differently. In the text okay. layer, just draw a black and white, like butler lifting a metal like okay. cover off of a in the other person's oh so I get to draw yours and you get to draw yeah. mine oh interesting okay well, on the text like we should no that's fine with me I like that idea we're, we're up in the presentation values on this thing did you speaking of a uh, butler-esque people did you hear that Mr. Peanuts dead I did it happened the same day that, uh, oh shoot, which, one of the Mo Monty Python, I forget. Oh, Terry Jones. Terry Jones died, and I'm like, like, and they're, they're both trending on Twitter, and I'm like, 
I'm like that kind of sucks, but also like he would think it's funny. So yeah, I guess <laughs> that's some solace that like the two trending deaths are him and a cartoon peanut who died saving Wesley Snipes' life, and also another part. another celebrity I did not recognize the name of Matt Humphreys. Is that it? I, I, I it's the guy from like Veep, and he's in a lot of like yeah, cartoon stuff, or not cartoon huh. stuff. Why did I say that? He's in a lot of comedy stuff. Interesting. I'm gonna have to you look him up. Him. You would. I, I, I probably would. He's he's just he's one of those names. Like... In... Oh, wait, uh, is he Jonah? No, he's uh, he's the like, uh, the media. He like does all writes all the speeches and everything. Oh, is he the guy with the mustache yeah. and like the the pasty yeah. redhead guy? He's in a t- yeah. He's in a okay. Of, like, comedy, so. Yeah, I I, I didn't like, realize that that was. Supporting characters. He's great. Uh, he, I think he does really good work. Yeah, I like him too. What a, what a weird career move is just be like, yeah, I'm the guy who uh, I was in that Mr. Peanut commercial where they killed their mascot. Like, yeah, what, what, weird... what they're doing? Some Super Bowl related, I assume. Yes, yeah, it's, it's they're they're you're gonna be able to see Mr. Peanut die at the Super Bowl, I guess. And I guess the whole point is that it causes people to talk about it on their shitty. Are they gonna replace him, or is he gonna come back from the dead? You know, I don't know. Do you remember when International House of Pancakes became International House of Burgers and, like, people gave a shit about that? And everybody's like, oh, like, what a terrible name. And I'm like, they're not going to actually do it. Like, do you think they're all going to change their stupid signs? No. Yeah, like, that's clearly not going to... Like, it was, I don't know. People... The marketing is, like, at this point, it's very easy to market to a mass audience. If you're a well-known company with a bank rule... Yeah, it's... Sometimes I'm on board with it. Sometimes they do stuff that I'm like, yeah, that was unique. Yeah. Was like fun, I, thought, I thought it was fun when they uh, changed the actors for every KFC commercial. That was interesting. Um, I liked... Uh, what, I mean, Geico had, like, one or two commercials with it. Like, you know, Geico's, like, the company that everyone knows them for their commercials more than like i don't think i i, I guess i i have seen like a couple people who use geico but use it's geico. Def- you use geico uh-huh. interesting because it's the cheapest well, there you go sure when i signed up no i still just have it but uh my cars i never buy nice cars i just have like i drive old cars so i, I can't need, comment too. i don't need great insurance yeah, I and mean, plus you, yeah, you're, you're, like you said before, your city's pretty small. So I don't know what, what, what uh, Pennsylvania's like, but in Michigan it's no fault, which basically means like, you need insurance, basic insurance that covers the other person, but you're basic. Well, I mean, you can get stuff that's like covers everything if you want, but uh, I just have stuff that just basically like makes it makes me street legal. And that's it. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> fix anything for me if I just kind of bare minimum. Thing. Yeah, I uh, I uh, see what I see. I think we went a different route for our oh, Butler dudes, that's but okay. that's okay. It's pretty similar. Like but uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know anything about the car insurance in this state, just because I don't, I don't drive a car, so right. I, I haven't yeah. had to deal with that yet. Yep. Which thank God, because I couldn't even afford the shit if I had to. Like, think about like that, like as an expense, and uh, oh my goodness, that would be. I, I'm, I already have a hard time saving money with like how little that I get paid and also like how expensive everything is so <laughs> I couldn't even imagine trying to pay for like my own phone or car insurance yeah. really dodged a bullet there I already paid for my student loans hey, I, I a... we got uh, Austin in the chat sorry to that's right uh, Austin is in the chat he's saying that Michigan is near now are you in Chicago now Austin he's in Chicago now wow I don't know if he wants us to blow up a spot like that, but it's a pretty big. Oh, city. I'm sorry. Well, it's a big city. Yeah, we're not always gonna track him down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Austin's in Chicago. There's only like three. Go we'll find him. He says, "Karen, put your stream onto the TV." I'm very impressed. Hi, Karen. Karen's great. She's she's lovely. She's a uh, she's great. She's Austin's girlfriend, and she's super nice and sweet. And so is she like? Is she supportive. cool, or do you like her at all? Or is she... I think she's cool. Oh, okay. I was <laughs> <laughs> rolling out the compliments. So. Oh yeah, no, I think. No, that's that's cool. I was just doing a bit. I know. <laughs> Alright, so are you ready to draw on the other one? For mine, I'm just going to uh, 
put it to the right of your guy. You can do, draw yours on the big platter, Drew, if you want. I see what you. Oh, I see what you're doing. I thought. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a goofball. I understand yeah, what's fine. happening. It's good. I, I didn't realize that because it was bad rich people food, it's a butler, you know, revealing the thing for some reason. So I'm going to okay. hide in one, two, and three. Should have put that together. Wow. I am slow. All right. Yeah. I'm going to hide Brandon one, two, and three, and I'm also going to pause the stream so I do not spoil myself. Dead spell, you're saying. Kyle wow. says I'm unobservant, and I'm going to choose not to observe that. So let's continue. And uh, Kyle says that Alyssa is watching here, too. So, hey, Alyssa, thank you so much for watching. Also, thanks, Kyle, for, you know, always participating and being in a part of the show and signing off in the chat. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's cool that my friends support my dreams. So kind of thing. Oh, oh, God. I promised myself I wouldn't do this. Uh, talking falsetto? Yeah, <laughs> I said I would not. I would stop. I, I always so... promise myself I won't do that. Hi guys! Ah, oh, I oh, fucked shit. up again. He shit. Did, he did the thing. Oh, God damn it! All right, what, what would be a bad rich person? What would be some shit some rich people would eat? I'm trying to think of like how like grotesque and like. Mine's kind of half dumb, and half grotesque. Hmm. Have you ever had like any fancy like weird experimental dishes or anything like that? Not really. I mean, I've had, I think some of the ones that I would consider somewhat fancy and experimental are kind of basic. Um, I've had like escargot. Just That's true. Stand. We did have escargot yeah. at the uh, that dope ass brewery. Yeah. Probably go there again from here. Um. When I worked at the restaurant, I never ordered it myself, but they had mozzarella balloons, which were they would fill a moz like a ball of mozzarella cheese with helium or something or some That's kind of air. Bizarre. Yeah, and so you'd cut it open, and like the like like oil and shit from the mozzarella ball would like I don't know what the point of it was. Like it was coupled with like heirloom tomatoes. Yeah, I guess, but it was also like the most painful thing. Like they were they, like they hated making it. Like it was such a pain in the ass for them to make. The whole bunch of set it down and it pops. It yeah, like you just like it would pop a lot of times when they were trying to like blow it up, and I don't even know like if you have to like start over with the mozzarella, but they awesome just hated making it. Foie gras, I've had that. It's like I have had that again pate. from the restaurant I worked at. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's like a. People really hate like foie gras for animal rights reasons, right? Oh. Like it's like cheaper, horrible, tortured sheep oh, or yeah. some shit like that. I thought it was. Is that foie gras or am I thinking of a different thing? I think. Well, are you thinking of veal? Well, I mean, that's veal is. That's cow, but. That's, that's baby cow, yeah. Baby cow. Um, or maybe foie gras is like duck that I you. Think, I think like... uh, foie gras is either goose or duck, depending on where you go. Yeah, it's uh, foie gras is force overfeeding of a goose. It's their oh, liver. Okay. So yeah. So yeah, there's some cruelty that goes into that. I guess not, you know, unlike every other type of meat that you eat, but like, you know, more cruelty, I guess, than is average, I guess. Austin says, yeah, it's bad. So He's foie gras. Even cruel enough, come on. Yeah, like what the fuck, man. It's much, actually much less cruel than American meats. Well, that I believe. Well, you know, we've all seen the videos of like chickens in the cage and stuff like that. And it's almost enough to make me go vegetarian. Um, but I just really shitty at like eating foods that are like not meat <laughs> based. So yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of fucked. I mean, I try and eat a salad when I can. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I try and I try and at least be a good protest consumer and I don't buy like the shit that I know is like super fucked up. I try and do the more moral food but choices. I, I think I'm doing something moral, it turns out that that's horrible too. Like apparently like yeah. almond milk is terrible. Oh really? But Jesus Christ, I love almond not, milk. Not for almond trees, but <laughs> Oh yeah, those poor almond trees. But for the environment, it's supposedly yeah, terrible course. and like, I don't know. Fucking Christ. You can't win. 
There's no ethical consumerism under capitalism. You just gotta eat grass. Yep, pretty much. That you grow in a co-op. Right, it has to have enough acreage that it can grow. Or else... If you eat, you know, grass that doesn't have a lot of room, that's cool too. Huh. I, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> you just can't, you just can't, you just you can't just win. You don't get to eat. You don't get to eat. You don't get to eat any food anymore. You it's just have to. It's tough being a carnivore. It's you tough out there. There's species that feels bad. Which I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just. <laughs> that is true. Like an extra layer of like. Irony? Maybe irony, but like also like guilt. But <laughs> guilt is not something other animals feel. This is true. Well, I mean, I don't know. Dogs look like they feel guilt whenever someone's like, Did you eat the poop? And then the dog will, like, walk in the video looking right. all sad and shit. That happens, but... Or is that performative sadness? Is the dog actually guilty feeling? That's relative. They're trained to feel sad. This is true. A wild dog, but... though. Oh, yeah. They poop all day long, and they'll love it. Yeah. I don't know if I don't care. And, like, wolves will kill their... Will kill, like, their prey by, like... They all slash it until it's like bleeds out which sounds like the worst way to go and cats it's... just kill things that they don't even eat yeah um, like that's they're like really bad for like bird populations and shit like that apparently yeah. so a uh, really sad episode <laughs> yeah we talk about a lot of stuff <laughs> liquefying we talk about yeah terry jones dying yeah. we haven't even talked about kobe bryant dying yeah. you know, we guess how much we should or should not and we decided that we don't really give a shit about basketball so well i mean that's not about that's not necessarily a basketball topic but like i, I don't oh, know it's I like have any uh nuanced things to say about it it's sad. yeah i got I, it's sad i got nothing to nothing to add on that subject so not every subject needs to have our opinion on it and that's one of them but then, yeah we are really bringing the bummers <laughs> this episode <laughs> the title of this episode is Bringing the bummers. All right, Kyle's <laughs> out of here. See you later, Kyle. Thanks for Bye, tuning Kyle. in. Thanks for tuning into the bummer show. We're real sad now. <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't do life, this. Life is pain. Life is pain. We're all going to die. And uh, um, there is no ethical consumerism under capitalism. I was just going to say that. I know, all right. Well, that's why we work together so well. It's because we're always that's on board. Your mom pays me. That's right. <laughs> we have discussed that already. Uh, that's that's the the wool has been pulled over my eyes no longer. You have wool eyes right now. I do. I'm like a muppet. I yeah. almost got. It. I uh I for the, for, like for the first time ever I was just like had an idea right off the bat. Not that was a good idea. I will not I will not claim that. But you know. My, my, my idea. Guy. My idea is a stretch. So <laughs> my idea is. All right. Well, all right, that's good. I mean, really, what we should do is eat the rich. I mean, that's what it comes right. down to. I mean, you could have drawn that. You could have drawn that, damn it. Well, I wish I had. But, you know, they wouldn't eat themselves. Class solidarity runs deep with those dudes. Hi, welcome to Anarcho... <laughs> Anarcho Draw Bomb, where we <laughs> say all of our anarchist uh, leanings. Yeah. We had to wait till episode 17 to be, you know, to really come out. To go full. So weasel our way in before we got, yeah exactly before we really started dropping the uh, anti-capitalist screens kind of talk about our real issue we, we both we hired artists for this yeah. we're not actually drawing I'm actually this is our loophole for discussing important topics that relate to modern society and the ills next we're going to talk about fighting neo-fascism through Community and nunchucks. <laughs> oh man! It was because we started talking about rich people food. We started talking about the ills of society. You know, it's easy to get on the ills. You start the talking Ills. about one thing, next thing you know, you're talking about the ills. That's. I mean, that's what run. How Run DMC got to UB Illin. I mean, 
because they were talking about the ills, and they were like, man. Their first uh, rap hit, Rich People Food. <laughs> rich People Food. <laughs> Touched on the ills. You go to your friends for a bite to eat, and the food just ain't no good. <laughs> took our time with those drawings. And we had quite a few people in the chat, which is awesome. I love that. Every time it like makes it a lot more fun for me. Yeah, absolutely. It's always like, oh, people actually care. <laughs> like, I mean, that, that sounds heavy, but like, I mean. But the, the, like, the community, like talking with them and stuff, is, is, like, makes it the most fun, at least for me. Yeah, like, no, absolutely. Part of the show. You know, when, when we do an episode and no one's sounding off in the chat, like, that's fine. I still have a good time. But it's definitely a lot more fun when we get you guys participating and, uh, you know, just chiming in. Give us things to talk about. We get to read your comments, which is always fun. It's like, it's like, I don't know. Uh, I enjoy that aspect. The community aspect is very fun. Yeah. I concur. Yes. Yes, yes indeed. Alright, I'm done. I am just about done I mean, <laughs> I'm curious not, to see what you made I'm not gonna color it I think no maybe I mean it should be pretty quick to color I, I'm just debating how now it's not gonna take any time to color, yeah, I'm take color time. Real yeah. and then I'm curious what your yours is too mine's great oh, it's really uh, boy, a lot of thought went into it uh, Plead the Filth says his home game with D&D didn't happen tonight so he was free to watch well, I'm glad you decided to spend your time with us. I really appreciate that. Hope and you uh, enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, I love your D and D games that you run that I've been taking part in. Those, um, it's really great to. I was telling Brandon this, but like, it's just really nice to finally be back in a like a D and D group. I haven't had that for a very long time, and you do a great job. So, I'm, uh, and you're you're very dedicated too. So it's it's cool. He just gave you a purple heart. Ah, that's, that's that's a great Are honor. That's bestowed of combat. Yeah, my dude, uh, my dude's been through some shit. He also, like, completely failed a whole bunch of acrobatics checks, and, like, it's happened in multiple games where I'll be like, I try and pull this sweet move, and then I roll, like, a two. Yeah. So, my dude is just very ungraceful. Last time I played, my character was like, I messed just about everything up, but I kept rolling great, like, like, <laughs> 20s on, on dialogue things. I just talked oh, about everything. So nice. It's like, somebody's ready to, like, tell me, and then I just, like, say something, and, like, Nah, man, you got it all wrong. Here's how it is. And then they roll 20, and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love that. Like, I, I, you're getting lucky. I tend to get, like, I tend to roll a, a decent roll when, like, it really matters, but, yeah, I, I end up fucking up a lot of things. So, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting, like, Oh, and uh, Plead the Filth also, he brought out some beautiful dice the last time that, uh, they're, they're like metal, wow. and, like, they had like cool. gilded edges, it looked, they were so nice, and like rolling them felt like a dream, so like, I feel like those would be very unbiased dice, and he said that they were, he said they were pretty unbiased too, which, you know, it's always, awesome. this is very like niche, but it's kind of cool that they're making it, there's these dice that, I saw it, it's like a, a Kickstarter for it now, but they have a little computer inside and they keep trying to like roll and you can like play online and stuff with people. Oh, sick. And what? That's crazy. It's like an app that you can use and like, it's pretty cool. Like, uh, That's a great they, idea. Like, yeah, you can roll and everybody can see what you rolled from home. That's awesome. Yeah. That'd probably be not too, like, I mean, if you know the the programming, like, what, you have, like, um, like, they can already tell which direction you're holding your phone. Right, like, yeah, there's some kind of little, uh... Like, what they do is they have a ball gauge. in there, and, like, a weight, and they, like, the weight determines where the ball is. I don't know how it works. Like, but okay. still, a pretty cool idea. It'd be fun to play on the show more. Yeah, absolutely. And I know we're talking about it, but, like, if we're gonna do it often, we'd probably have to figure out an easier way than that, drawing a bunch of stuff, which I don't even know if he's started that. He's, he's a busy man, so I don't know. He's a busy man. You know, we'll, 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 we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, we'll have to figure out some system for, like, maybe discuss off-air some system for, like, doing it quick and loose yeah. without having to plan too much. 
wouldn't mind figuring out some fun games. We could, you know, doing some special one-off episodes. Maybe get a guest on, do a weird game that could take up like the whole episode or something like that. You know, do some variety. We had a lot of people on the show tonight. We sure did. We, we really appreciate it. Users, there's, there's like fifteen people who were here. Hey, that's pretty great. That's uh, and like everyone was uh, you know, Bobby making the vocal way. Lighten, lighten the chat up. Really appreciate it. The chat, which we call Lois, and uh, <laughs> I keep it. still, still, still determined to make that bit happen eventually. I'm not, I'm not riding it too hard because it doesn't really got a lot of legs to it. But I am gonna prefer the chat as Lois every once in a while. Light up the fucking chat, Lois. The, the chat is Lois. So when you're chatting, you in the chat, you're, you're part of Lois. I forget why that joke happened. But, um... Alright, Lois! <laughs> okay, kill me now. Um, Are you still watching that? Uh, I haven't paid attention to it too much lately, um, because, well, I, I watch it a lot when I'm, like, drawing and I don't really give a shit, so, like, I, it's on, it takes up space and sound, and, like, I can look at it occasionally, but it doesn't really need to try too hard because I'm not really looking for it for the, uh... Alex Borstein. And uh, the show is definitely rough around the edges in a lot of ways. Um, but I, I, when I was visiting my family this weekend, my brother did show me uh, quite a few uh, shows. Well, we, we watched, he showed me one called Ballmasters 9009, yeah, I believe. And uh, apparently they're coming out the season two on in February, which is coming very soon, actually. Like February 3rd is the, new, the second season, it's, so that's cool. Uh, but it's pretty fun. It's like a, it's like, it's a show set in like the very far future about like a game, like a sport that like people are playing. Um, and it's kind of like it, it. I think it's like sort of doing uh, like an anime sort of like parody almost. Like it's it, a lot of the voice acting comes across as very anime. Like you get this sort of storyline in a lot of different types of anime, like Peerless Joe, and. Uh, it just kind of follows the sort of structure of like a sport, a future sport anime, which is okay. a genre. Um, is it but the art like, style look like the future jail? Not really. Uh, the 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 art style is very, it's varied, honestly. Like it's it's kind of got, it's class. It's it's made by the guy, the studio that did Super Jail. Like I, I don't know the name of the art director, but like Christy something something something. Um, the you know the people who do Super Jail. It's right. it's it's that made by them so the art style is sort of similar but it's a little bit more they definitely spent a lot more money um uh on like the end like the animation is very solid there's a lot of like really oh, cool. great animation in there the art is actually really like sure, well yeah, done and, like, them tonight. yeah I highly recommend. it's a very enjoyable show um and it's kind of interesting to see the way it like pans out because like, like, absurd it's it's I would it's absurd. I wouldn't say it's as absurd as Super Jail because yeah. Super Jail is just so kind of like are. off the rails. Yeah, th this one has like some wild characters, but it's a lot more structured and it's 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 actually surprisingly like. It, 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 there's like actually like a storyline happening, and it's it's surprising because you don't think it at first. You think it's just going to be like a random like, ha ha ha, these crazy characters. But there's actually like, occasionally the show will hit you with some heart, and you'll be like. Oh hey, I got some. That, that was some warm fuzzies right there. Sign me up. Yeah, it's it's very good. I highly recommend it. It's it's very enjoyable. Uh, we also I'm also finished. With, wait, I need to write my the name of my thing. Um, but yeah, uh, we watched that, which is very enjoyable, and that's coming out in the new season soon. Uh, we also just like scanning for random shit. Watched a show called King Star King. Okay. Um, which is harder to recommend because um, I'm not even sure if I liked it. It was fucking weird um it's also about space and it's about like um i don't know it's about this dude named king star king who is like a god and he also just does a shit ton of drugs and then like his random cast of characters like he turns some guy like some guy is like mortally wounded and he like puts him in a pancake man body and like that's his new body and Shit's weird, man. I, it's a very. I'll watch like, the other show first, and then. <laughs> yeah. Again, I'm not even sure if the other show was any good. It was definitely fucking weird. Are you ready and... for the reveal? 
I just need to finish writing my title, and then I am all set. Okay. And I'm almost done. But yeah, King Star King. I don't know if I'd recommend that one. It's on Adult Swim for free, so you know you can check it out if you want. But it's uh, it's weird shit. But Ballmasters 9009 also on Adult Swim. You can just watch any of their shows on their website, which yeah. I love. A lot of the newer stuff is just all free. Some uh, some stuff requires like a cable. Or something, but... Yeah. I'm almost done. All right, I am set. All right, I'll reveal yours in three, two, one. <laughs> I love this. That's, cool. That's incredible. <laughs> I love the face on the tree. <laughs> that's that's great stuff. Roast that's shark butt. Roast shark butt. Bark. That is a. Uh, I love how defined the shark's cheeks are. Yeah. You know? really. <laughs> I guess the fin, I'm trying to think if the back the back fin I guess would be sort of I always thought I it would don't be know it's just, uh, obviously there's things that aren't anatomically anatom anatomically anatomically correct yeah I, I mean if like the back fins that would be around where the ass is I mean you can really follow the limbs of a human on a fish and be like yeah I came from that motherfucker <laughs> but um <laughs> this is a good one I'm honestly curious to see how the boats go. Yeah, this could this could really uh it's anyone's game, it you know? Game. <laughs> the sad tree. The sad tree. The, tr <laughs> I mean, the tree has to be there for it. Yeah, it's absolutely. They have to like, it strips the bark off and like the tree you know, you know the nature of the giving tree is the tree is always just like, Well, like I guess, you know, if you need my bark. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's I really have a giving tree after all. That is my nature. It doesn't mean you be a taking person. The fucking guy turns the tree into a boat, man. Like, it's ridiculous. That dude is an asshole to that fucking tree. Yeah. Like, I think he turns it into a boat. It's been a while since I've heard some shell Silverstein. He, uh, he definitely cuts the tree down and turns it into a house. Oh. Um, and he definitely, as an old man, is just like, can I sit on you? And the tree's just like, yeah, dude, I'm a fucking stump. You cut me down. It's like, the only reason you hear me talking is because you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Do what That's you like, want. It's like we yeah, just got like a Fight Club reveal at the end of the <laughs> yeah. Gimme Tree is just a tree after all. Yeah. It's an unreliable narrator. That's right. <laughs> who is who is the narrator in the... I think it's... It's a kid. I think it's just Sean Silverstein. Yeah. That's a, like a poem type thing. Yeah. Alright. Well, that was another successful episode. Yeah, that was a good episode. Thank you so much, everybody, for signing off in the chat. Uh, Plead the Filth says, The real getting free is <laughs> the friends we made along the way. No, what that a better way right. to end. God damn it, I couldn't uh, have said it better myself. Well, we really appreciate everybody joining in yeah, on the show tonight. Yeah, it's a good one. A lot, of, a lot of people in the chat. We appreciate that. people in the chat. It always helps make the show run smoother, and it always, I think, adds another layer. If you enjoyed everything. this show, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on uh, Twitter. We have a Discord where we're going to post, post the link up yes. to that yes. ASAP. ASAP and uh, additionally, uh, be back here next Monday at 8 o'clock for another show. Yeah, we're always going to be doing shows at 8 o'clock on Mondays if we can. Uh, we've got a pretty good streak going so far, yeah. I think. Yeah. So uh, thanks again, everybody. Really appreciate it. Uh, vote on mine, please. For <laughs> yeah, vote for me. All right, and I'll play us out. All right. Doi 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 doi. You can't even hear it and you're like perfectly synced up. That's hilarious. Why well, did make it? <laughs> I'm gonna try and do the explosion. Alright, you have to guess what's gonna happen. Nope. Ah, alright. Good try. Anyways, thanks for watching. And we're out of here.